Welcome, my friends of the interwebs. Okay, so I tried the potato and did not really care all that much for the patina effect. Oh, which reminds me, I'm actually shot in shock and awe that you guys didn't have never seen individually wrapped plastic wrapped one dollar potatoes before. <laughs> um, <clears throat> here's the deal. There's all kinds. This is called Speedy Spud. Um, it, it's pretty simple stuff. It, it's uh, wrapped in a plastic that's microwavable. Uh, the potato is, has already been scrubbed. Um, triple washed, it says. <clears throat> triple washed. Um, yeah, I mean, basically what you're paying for is the convenience of uh, being able to have a baked potato. Now, one of the reasons they sell these um, they sell them all over. I mean, I got this one at Walmart, but one of the reasons they sell these is because if you're, you know, if you've got access to a, uh, a microwave on a lunch break or something, this is a doable thing. You don't have to scrub or anything like that. Now, listen, I rarely, rarely, rarely ever piss my money away spending it on a buck of potato. I just, <laughs> I would rather spend it on guns and ammo and knives and all that stuff. Um, However, I thought this would be a, a, just a convenient thing. I didn't, I don't buy a lot of potatoes anymore just because I don't need the starch and all that goodness in my life. Uh, so I, I just, I don't know. It is what it is, but these are pretty common in Toledo, uh, Ohio. Um, if you go to your, your uh, uh, grocery store, I would be very surprised if you couldn't find individually plastic wrapped, microwave ready speedy spuds of some sort oh and they also have these with in uh, sweet potatoes so you know it is what it is anyway i was really kind of surprised so many people were like what what the hell i've never seen that before well now you have <laughs> yeah i mean a buck for a potato and it's not even by the way um these used to be twice the size for a buck so I don't know if it was a bad year for potatoes or if there's, I have no idea what their story is, but um, this is kind of, yeah, this is definitely a ripoff. It's not a very big potato for a buck. All right, let's get to the apple. All right, now listen, I've, I've, I'm kind of curious. I, I, this has been, this blade, this chrome uh, vanadium uh, blade <clears throat> has been in here for a day, uh, about almost, I'd say at least 13 hours. So we shall see. Um, now I did have somebody tell me that I left that blade in the uh, in the uh, potato way too long. So I don't know. This is all experimentation to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and yank this bad boy out and see what we got. Ooh, look at that. That's kind of blackish. <laughs> like, and the tip is kind of interesting. And I wonder if well, this side's not much like that but i just wonder if i didn't realize it but it was kind of sticking out i don't know that's interesting very interesting okay let me give uh you a little contrast here as you can see you got one that's sh uh, shiny and one that is not one that's shiny and one that's now pretty dark <laughs> pretty dark okay let's get this wiped off and see see what we really got okay it does take on by the way when you when you force a patina on these blades um it does take on kind of a funky odor um now i hear from people that have uh, that in not in fairly short order that goes away but uh it must have something to do with the uh with the oxidation process or or, or whatever but um I'll be honest with you. I, I kind of uh, I kind of dig this patina more than the um, than the other one uh, than the potato patina. This is kind of it's more of a matte finish, but it, it it's kind of neat. Um, hmm, I don't know. Let me know what you think. All right, let's get some rusty rags on this. What's interesting too, if you look at by the way, I I, I ate half the apple before I stuck it in this half, but it's interesting that that's black around that uh around the slice on that apple all right we're going to use some rusty rags by the way if you want to order yourself some rusty rags uh they they have an awesome knife cleaning kit uh you get 25 percent off on any of their products go to their website um it's uh, www.rustyrags.com i think that's what it is it should be on here let me see uh, www.rustiesrags.com, uh, put in the MBV coupon code and save yourself 25%. All right, so I'll write that down. Okay. 
Now, somebody was telling me that the forced patinas will, uh, will wear off, um, but I don't know why they would. I mean, it's the same process as just speeding it up. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. I think it's a much more desirable patina, in my opinion, the apple is. Um, although, <laughs> for shits and grins, I think I'm going to go ahead and try this, uh, this blade uh, with a, um, an orange or a lemon. Probably an orange. Unless I can find a big lemon. Because this is kind of a big blade. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful case knife. Just an absolutely gorgeous case knife. I love this yellow, by the way. I'm a big yellow fan. Um, but there you go with the patina. You'll have to let me know what you think. I was actually kind of surprised at how many people told me that they didn't realize that you could force a patina and didn't, uh, had never heard of that before. Um, there's a million. If you look at the right-hand side, there's a million uh, videos showing how to force a patina um, using all kinds of different methods. Um, so, yeah, I'm really kind of surprised that some of my knife people didn't uh, realize you could do that. The patina's, um, of course, the patina's job is to protect the steel, and it will, because a uh, patina is a form of rust, but it's a brown rust. It's the red rust that will pit and destroy your, uh, your steel. So, but anyway, that's all I got for you. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Um, and then, like I said, I may, probably not anytime real soon, but I may do a, uh, I may do a video uh, putting this in an orange just to see. Because, you know, Artisan Tony's um, video, when he used an orange, I really kind of dug that patina. It had kind of a neat effect. There are lots of other things you can do, too, as far as trying to put patterns on, like tiger stripes and stuff like that. I may experiment with that. But I do find it kind of interesting to show the contrast in these two blades, how one is mirror, mirror image shiny, and the other one now is, has a, has a uh, deep patina to it. I think that's really kind of interesting. Um, and let me know too, by the way, it, how your, uh, how the lighting's working out for you, because I can bring a different light in here. Um, I suggest you watch this video in 1080 and full screen if you can. Um, so anyway, that's all I got for you. Everybody take care. See ya.